things I wanted to do was really encourage the understanding of, of these topics, but also the topic of intercultural awareness, which basically is centered around um, understanding and supporting our own cultures, bringing our authentic self into the workplace, into a social place, and um, supporting each other, not changing who we are, not changing our cultures, not adapting, but having a genuine sense of belonging for all of us in the room um, and so that's really what I aim to do with the work that I do. I was very surprised with a friend of mine uh, who is Chinese and she's been in Berlin for a long time but then at some point she could have a long-term visa and when she obtained that long-term visa she realized that at work she was never speaking up as much as she wanted because deep inside of her she was afraid that she would lose her job, and she would lose her job, she would lose her visa. So even though she had not really integrated in her mind that it was, you know, like this visa was a thing, she was not having full power because of the situation. So the fact that she was on a short-term visa put her away, closer to marginalization, and not in full power. Training people to provide them with awareness of of the new culture that they're stepping into to give them more power to give them more awareness and to help them navigate so when I've done trainings I'll have I've, I did a training recently with a group of engineers from India and one of the questions it's the third time I've done this training with engineers from India one of the questions that always comes up is what small talk can we is is acceptable in an office in Germany and how do I make friends and these things we take for granted, I certainly did take for granted, but for them it was a real like, I really need some help here. Even people that had been here for, for two or more years, they needed help and advice on these things. Um, I mentioned that my father's Indian um, and he has very dark, dark skin and I've got three older sisters and we've all got different skin tones. And when we speak to each other on our family WhatsApp group, we all use the skin tone emoji of our father because that is how we identify. So I think that that for me is such an important thing because I am white presenting. Absolutely, I am. And with that comes privilege that I'm very aware of. And one of the reasons I do the work I do is because I have this privilege and I'm going to use that privilege to hopefully educate and support understanding. But also... I identify as a dark-skinned Indian woman. and People can't see that. Um, but just to give you a very kind of bog-standard dictionary um, definition, so biases are an inclination or a prejudice, so they can be a positive or a negative, for or against one person or a group. Um, and I think it's really important to also mention that these are things that, like stereotypes, that we can often, we, we can't help them, they're there. We have some biases who are blocking us from interacting with people. And when this is happening, we might be, well, I had that, being trapped in guilt and shame. I should not think this, but I do think this. And what do I do about it? Do I want to accept the situation or I don't want to question my biases? Are they good to protect me or actually preventing me from interacting with people that would bring me a lot of value? 